Well, good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for taking your time to be able to tune in again this morning to receive your daily dose, which is your boost to your spirit. You know what? The spirit of God is strengthening you in your inner man so that you can be rooted and grounded in love as Christ dwells richly in you. And therefore, today, as you are hearing this message, it is building you up. It is strengthening you. Christ is dwelling richly in you so that you can continue to run the race that he has set before you, looking unto him. Glory be to God. This morning, I'd like to encourage you from the book of Philippians, chapter number 3. The book of Philippians, chapter number 3, and verses 13 and verses 14. It reads this, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So here Paul is telling us that there is a prize awaiting us. You have a prize, I have a prize, Paul had a prize. And so he's saying in verses 14 that I press towards the goal. So you've got to understand that you will never press towards the goal if there is no opposition. So Paul is reminding us indirectly that you have an opposition that you need to press towards. The opposition is against you reaching your goal. Therefore, you need to keep on pressing because your strength is greater than the opposition. Why? Because God is in you, God is with you, and God is for you. And if God is for you, you can be able to press forward and reach towards your goal. So he says, I press forward towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, Paul says, I have a call of God upon my life. And this call of God is demanding my attention. It is demanding my time and it is demanding my, uh, my, my, my activity. And therefore, if I do not respond to this call, then I will not be able to answer this call. And the way I'm going to answer this call is by pressing towards it. I'm going to go against every opposition. I'm going to go against every pressure. I'm going to go against everything that is trying to hinder me. Why? Because the call is mine and it is calling me and I can hinder it. I can hear it and nothing can stop me but me. Therefore, I choose to press on. Now you can ask yourself, if I'm going to press on towards this mark of the price, what do I need to do or how do I need to keep on pressing? Well, you've got to read the verse 13 that we read first. Verses 13 says this, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. The word apprehended there simply means to lay hold of. I do not count myself to have laid hold on. But one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. So Paul is saying, if I begin to forget those things which are behind and reach forward to the things which are ahead, then I'm able to press on. You know, the enemy of our victory is actually our past success. We tend to relax when we have achieved a goal. Because we feel that we have arrived. But Paul is saying that, no, 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 that is going to be your greatest enemy. Your success, your past success can be your greatest enemy. That is why Paul is saying, I do not count myself to having laid hold on. In other words, whatever I have achieved, I immediately forget about that and keep on moving forward. Thank God he strengthened me to accomplish what I accomplished. But you know what? There is much more to accomplish. Therefore, I forget those things which are behind and I press forward towards the things that are ahead of me. And that is how I keep on pressing towards the mark of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, whatever you have achieved, whatever you have accomplished in life, that is a past. Therefore, you need to lay hold of those things and forget about them. I forget the things that are in the past. I forget those things which I have achieved. But you know what? I'll bring them into my memory and say, God, help me do that. But you know what? That is now in my past. And now I'm pressing towards my future where the upward call of God in Christ Jesus is calling upon me. Therefore, I keep on running the race that God has set before me, looking unto Jesus, pressing forward for that upward call because that is where the grace of God has been released towards me. The grace of God was available for the past. But now I have a new grace. I have a new mercy of God upon my life to help me push forward towards the upward call. I'd like to encourage you today. 
Do not let the success of the past hinder you from moving into your future victories. Don't let your destiny be clouded with your past success. Enable yourself to move beyond success. You've already achieved the success, but there is more to be achieved. But you have to let go that which you've already achieved. In other words, forgetting those things that are in the past and pressing forward towards the mark of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So I'd like to encourage you today and challenge you at the same time. What you've achieved, that is in the past, but there is much more to be achieved. Therefore, remember that as you run your race. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.